you did what I'm saying. If they all want us, I'm a county fan. Yeah, I wanted money, I couldn't enjoy a class. Very good. All right, hey guys, uh, back with another episode of Adlibs Over Everything. Uh, we've got Rahul, Kanji, Thomas, and we've got your dig. Uh, make sure if you got, we got your dig. You got your dig. <laughs> make sure if you've got um, any ideas, just drop them in the comments. We're always looking for new ideas and to discuss what not. Um, but we're going to be discuss who we think top five in the game right now are. Top five uh, running. Top five running the game. Uh, so we've got a few categories we're going to go over. So I think it's like popularity, sales, influence, and then quality. So we sort of set it out as a hierarchical structure. Yeah. So the most, the um, argument that will have the most weight is the sales and popularity argument. Mm. The second would be um, influence, and the third will be quality. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And this isn't our personal opinion. This isn't our personal opinion, it's just top five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So number one, I think we can all kind of, everyone can kind of agree Drake's number one right now. Yeah. It's, yeah. Pretty hard to, it's pretty yeah. hard to disagree that Drake's number one. Just on sales alone. Just on sales yeah. alone, like, yeah. and influence. Yeah. And influence. And influence, yeah. 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 Number two. J, J. Cole, right? In terms, just if we're looking at those factors, for sure. I think Kanye. Yeah, I don't know. I, I gotta agree with uh, Rahul here. Yeah. I think Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. yeah. Even if like Kanye hasn't got sales. Yeah. Like the thing is, it's so hard to be objective about this topic because like we have we all have a bias against J Cole. I think most of our viewers will have a bias against J Cole. What has he done to influence anything? <laughs> yeah, but influence the second one. You said Kanye has two and three. Down pat. But that's J. Cole has one. Forrestal's drive is arguably better than Taylor. To you it's oh, not. Nah, nah, fuck to that. you it's no. not. To no. you it's not. To me nah. it's not. Nah, fuck that. No, well look, let's just say critical acclaim. In terms right. of quality. Fucking critical acclaim, Taylor didn't get any critical acclaim. It, got it was higher than Forrestal drives. It got nine on pitchfork. Pitchfork? Yeah, fucking best new. You're saying Pitchfork. Pitchfork, bro. Pitchfork is literally the most sucked Kanye's music. Pitchfork, pitchfork has sucked Kanye's. No, 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 Pitchfork has sucked Kanye's no dick for like ten years. Pitchfork has been objective about Kanye for ten years. <laughs> nah, they, they, they stand Kanye. They, they should have even Kanye. used as a ten, but they stand they Kanye. They should have but it doesn't matter. Fucking Forest Hills got like sixty on Metacritic. Okay, but what are we saying here? Cole doesn't isn't second. What I'm saying is Cole has one locked up. And Kanye has two and three. Kanye has two and three. And Ka Cole okay. and Kanye are, are at least comparable. Okay, I see you. How about Future number two? Why not Future then? Future has Future had three back to back, a classic run of mixtapes. Dirty Sprite two. Great right. again now. I think, right I think now. we should confine it to 2016 onwards. You no, get, no, you have to he's confined it to 2016 that. onwards and doesn't include Future, who just dropped back to back albums that sold 100k. Argue that. Nah, I reckon you Popularity, be yes. Yeah. Quality, influence. Did... Who's influence more in 2016 and 17? Future or fucking Kanye? Kanye. But it's like Kanye. Kanye, Kanye. 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 How is Kanye, Kanye influence more than Future? Chance the Rapper. Yes. Yeah. Chance the Rapper. That's, that's all it is. Will we... Would you have Chance the Rapper in your top five? Chance? No, Chance Would you have Chance the Rapper Chance in your top five? Chance influenced Kanye. Kanye didn't influence Chance. No, it's on. It's no, it's like not from the way it starts. It's so it's all about ten it's years ago now. What are we talking about? We're talking about twenty sixteen. It wouldn't be the artist he is today without, without the ten years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Future wouldn't be the artist he is today without Lil Wayne. So Lil Wayne should be number one. But he's done nothing. Lil Wayne okay, doesn't even push okay. it out anymore. Lil Wayne doesn't put anything yeah. out, so like you can't. Kanye put out something when last year. Lil Wayne put anything out. Uh, 2016. Oh, Did he actually? What the fuck? He put out, he put out a mixtape. Uh, I don't know if Free See, I never know the album. Put out something that does not Wait, well, have you listened to a Lil Wayne album? Have no, you I listened to like, a Lil Wayne album? Yeah. I, as a Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne fan, have listened to a lot of Lil Wayne albums, and he's fucking great. No, 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 yeah, but you're being I'm, I'm not dis- I'm not dis- What the fuck? Yeah, but what are you- t Okay, how are you gonna put- I just don't see Kanye's number two in 2017. Because you were talking about influence, right? Okay, saying, influence. Like, what influence. What influence has Kanye had on the game? 808 still has influence on today. We're talking about 2017. Yeah, but like, like, I feel like you need to take into hard. account influence when it's still when it's the long. Is, how can you talk about influence in 2016 when no one's being influenced by stuff that dropped in 2016? They're looking into stuff that was older. Because 2016's the now. Okay, yeah, what, would you, call, what would you call 2016 sound? 
Who influenced 2016 sound the most? It, that's it's just Cuddy. Like, Cuddy. No, it's just. I was so gonna say Travis or Cuddy. Yeah. Uh, okay, tri- probably. Thank you for Travis. Anyway. Maybe, no, 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 okay, but no, Cuddy. Maybe. And then Cuddy. Cuddy dropped a better maybe. album than Cuddy in 2016. Is, when we're talking about that, we're, we're confining our discussion it's so to the region. South. Hip hop is still so regional. Because like you said, like, you can say Joey because you got all those kids TV, up in the yeah. East Coast and East Coast, Flatbush yeah. and all those guys. Yeah, but what do we? So, okay, so what you're saying is influence. 2017, Cuddy has had more influence on the game in 2017. Cuddy dropped a better album than Kanye in 2017. Oh, what the fuck? Are you serious? I'm okay, I haven't listened to Passion Play Names like. I haven't listened to a single song then. <laughs> Tom, Tom, T Lop or Cuddy's no, album? Like, Tom, Tom, T Lop is better than Tom. 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 It's his album of the year! It's your album of the year! No, 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 in terms of color, because if we're just talking personal color, we're we'll fucking <laughs> going off for like days. I just don't know how we're putting Kanye at number two over Future, Kendrick, J Cole, Chance, okay. Travis. So over all those okay, artists. So we have. I agree, he should be more than a few of those artists, but I don't think Kanye okay, should be number so two. They argue- J-, J Cole number two. So what? What? Objective. My argument was. So you said J Cole number two, right? I think when you put Kanye and J Cole together, like head to head, based on the criteria we had. J. Cole pips him in popularity. That's the biggest one though. But it's not like yeah, I think that trumps it's the not, other two. It's not he, he beats in popularity, sales, singles. It's not by like that much though. It's like if they okay, both that's good by no, I can say that, I can say that, that I can much. say that, I can say that. And then quality, but Kanye's up here. Influence, yeah. Kanye's up here. Oh that's true. That's a good point. So it's like but then when you put yeah, Kanye head to head with future, it's harder. It's harder because ca- ca- So ca- why is J. Cole too? Because I think of how much like how big he is. That's the thing. How big he is. Like he's. It's like it's like Drake. It's like Drake. How big Drake is. Cole is the second biggest rapper in the game. What, what numbers did uh, For Your Eyes only do? That's the thing. It kind of flopped it for For Your Eyes. How That's much did it, you do? dude. I can't. I can't we need to take that into account. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. 300. And that's considered a flop. flop. Yeah, well, for him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off here. Just no, 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 no. 300 first week. First week, bro. What the fuck? 300 first week? Yeah, bro. I'm saying if that's a flop. That's a relative flop because of how big Cole got. We were saying before T Lop, like, if it dropped physically, it might do 100k. Oh, no. T Lop could get close to that. 300k first week. Man's just said T Lop would sell 300k first week if it was if a he didn't, album. If he didn't do the cinematic bullcrap. If you there dropped it no way, way. there's a lot of people who listen to the album in the cinemas, right? That's not going to include there the is for sale. What did Easy in the cinemas? What did once Easy? They listen to it once in the cinemas, and that's all they're going to listen no, to. No, no, it. no. What did Easy do first week? What the fuck are you saying, bro? What, what did Easy do first week? Three hundred. Three hundred. See, right, that's the thing. Kanye was bigger in June 2013. Nah, he was. He put out real friends and no more parties in the lay. No more parties in the lay. Have Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, and Kendrick Lamar in 2015 slash 16. Who's, who's listening to Kendrick Lamar in 2016? That's why no, that's a joke. Yeah, but still, but but City. No, I definitely feel like the hype for uh, T Lop was so like high back when like Kanye was dropping like the, good, the good Friday it songs. Was, it was, he had yeah, the Good Friday. Good Friday was that's like. But are we really understand. putting him bigger than Cole? That's the my thing point. is, you don't understand. With Good Friday, harks back to what he was doing. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Everyone knows about that, not just hip hop. You know everyone in music. You know how much my, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy sold. But it doesn't matter. Back then, fine. But now he was everyone back from like a fucking high Okay, okay, so, okay so, well, so what are we saying? Okay, I don't so back, so back then, it made a lot of But now, people recognize that my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is a great album, right? A lot of people, even ones that don't listen yeah, to hip hop. Yeah, what are you saying? And then Kanye brought back Good Fridays. That's exactly what he did. During the rollout of My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, these people go, oh god, he has another classic in him. They're so hyped, listen to T Lop. Listen to this Stan trying to justify T Lop. What the f? I don't understand how, how you're saying that Kanye is comparable on a popularity level to Cole. 100%. 100%. Dude, I reckon he within our, our, our circle, within, within our circle, yes. Within hip hop? Yes. Within music as a whole, yes. 
Do you reckon people outside of hip hop listen to Kanye? Bro, Cole is, I don't I, I think you underestimate how Kanye gets a boost from the you have to recognize his boost from like the fashion side, right? That too. Huge yeah, group. people in China are going to be listening to Kanye. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't yeah. understand how you're going to say he's being in the house. What do you mean? It's similar to Cole. That's all I don't understand. Because, because of sales, sales, sales don't. Sales are the kicker here. Hits are the kicker. Jesus sold 300k. Yeah. What singles did that have? Are you serious? Everyone was playing by Black Skin. Yeah. Everyone was playing Black Skin. Black okay. Skin but was like, like Black Skin was like the fucking. The hype, the, well. the hype for the hype for T was something for you. I have never seen. No, it was no. no, it no, sold when you, twenty eight no, thousand no, included in sales. You it sold twenty eight thousand. That notepad was the most iconic thing of all time in hip hop. That notepad where people would come in and sign and it'd be like, Kanye's collaborating with Andre, it's over. Kanye's collaborating with Rocky, it's over. And it would just Earl. grew with names Earl and up. Like any fan, I agree the hype is big. I agree the hype is big, but I just don't think you under. I just don't think you understand how big Cole is. That's all I'm saying. Can we take into account? But in saying that, four year eyes only did kind of flop a bit. Three hundred is still a lot. Yeah, yeah, but like it it didn't have the. It hasn't had the same impact that Paul Schultz did. I'm going on your side now. That didn't have any singles, did it? Mm -mm. So. And he didn't and neither did Frost still drive. He that's literally crazy. dropped it out that's of nowhere. Crazy. Like that's crazy. I don't, <sighs> I don't know. It's a tough two. Like, I'm arguing crazy. because I am I'm indecisive. I'm just yeah. trying to get out of the points is, here. Kanye is a marketing genius. Like, if he's a marketing genius, why did he only sell three hundred thousand with Jesus? Because of Jay Z. How is Jay Cole so Jay-Z. big? But it feels like Jay Cole. The title right like, now is the Worst I'm saying Jesus, bro. I'm saying Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, but Jesus was like anti everything. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Like, it is crazy, right? Because how how is he so big without any press, any marketing? It's because like, Kanye. Yeah, it's no, it's Jake Paul. Oh, 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 oh. oh. How the fuck does he do it? Cole reaches people who like. But so does Kanye. No. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Cole reaches. They both have reach beyond hip hop. Yes. Cole has that like hipster. Oh my god, I'm better than people. Like, we're not Cole fans here, Kanye but I can that. recognize how big Kanye, Kanye is. Kanye is reach. the king of, oh my god, I'm better than people. Yes, how but what the, the people I don't even understand what, I don't understand what you mean by that at all. No, the whole, oh, I'm intelligent because I listen to Cole. That, was, yeah, so that, that would be the pitch, Pitchfork reader base. They would listen to Kanye, but not Cole, right? Th- no, that's, they're comparing Cole to like Uzi, Yachty. Yeah. Oh, you listen to Uzi, Uzi and Odd Yachty, I listen to Cole. Cole actually talks about real stuff. And that's the same thing. What, what one, na- name me more than two, three real songs on, on T-Lop. Real friends, how many of us? Nah, they're all real songs. They were all real Wolves songs. Wolves real? Man. Wolves was real? Real friends, St. Pablo. So, yeah, Saint well, that's, 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 that's three songs? Go. I'll try I'll try Yeah, that's four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, but like, it's different. It's different. Yeah, 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 it's, 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 it's different. It's different to Cole, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, Cole reaches people like who don't even like associate, like almost associate with hip hop. This is yeah, that's what Kanye. We should just be looking at numbers. If you're looking at numbers, it's Cole. No, but it's, it's hard for T Lop because T Lop had like the streaming share. It's hard to it's not calculate because you said three hundred. Yeah, for four years only. Yeah, do you, you think, take into do you think Taylor would have sold over uh, more than 300k? If he dropped it properly, I That's the thing, I'm not sure You can't that. just say I'm if he sure dropped it properly. You can't just say that. The hype was incredible. I don't the think... Yeah. I think you're overdoing the hype. No, no. I think you're overstating no. the hype. The I think hype was something... I think you're overstating the hype. I think you're overstating the hype. Have you seen... Sorry, have you seen anything in hip-hop with that much hype? That much buzz. Views. Views. No, I was on like KTT and uh, Hip Hop Heads on like the the week before that, and that was mental. How how about this? Every if if J Cole and Kanye were to Every both drop an album out of nowhere tomorrow, which one would sell more? Like physically, Cole. I'm saying Cole. Right now, I'm saying Cole. Tomorrow, Cole. It's that's tough. That's funny because like Jesus and Forest Hills Drive uh, dropped on the same day too. Yeah. No, no, no. Jesus and Born Sinner. Oh, Born Sinner, that's right. Born Sinner was before Cole. Yeah, Born Sinner was before yeah. Cole. Yeah. Huge, huge. Yeah. So if you guys both say Kanye, I'm going to say Kanye because it's two against one. But the thing is, like, as we harked back before, you put Kanye against Cole, I'm quite adamant it's Kanye. You put Kanye against Future, and then... Yeah. 
But then you have to put Future against Cole. Yep. Yeah. As well, yeah, you have to like, do the compare Future, oh, I, it's, I think it's because of his album cycle. The fact that he gets so much content yeah. out and out and out and out. It distorts what we it's think. Really, like, it feels like it's kind of relevant. One album yeah. in three years, two years. J. Cole doesn't like say three, three, yeah. Future did two in a, two in a, two weeks. Yeah, it broke my I think it's quantity over quality. Okay, fuck, it's fuck. Hard to standardize something when someone's dropping so content much. like that and other artists yeah, but so much. If he's dropping content, you, have to no, wait, listen, listen, listen. you do. I know, listen, but like, how do you stand how listen, do you listen, listen. To? If he's dropping content like that, he's been able to stay relevant for three years in the mainstream, more longer in the mainstream, but he's been running so shit it's in the mainstream. Future two then. Future two. Fuck it. No, no, Kanye is number two, Future is number two. Future. Yeah. I, future I, two. I, I could, Three. Future two. Three Kanye. Three Kanye, yeah. We had an argument, Kanye. Is yeah, Kanye I'm, 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 I'm taking Kanye over Cole. I'm taking Kanye over Cole. Four I agree with that. Four Cole. Cole, it's between Cole and Chance and Kendrick. Cole, Chance, Kendrick, Kendrick and, and Travis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cole. I don't think you should consider Travis. I don't think Travis. I don't think but, like, you, ha- you have to I include someone from the new school. You can't just think, we're including everybody who's been in the game for more than... Seven years. No, wait, that doesn't matter. Like, why do we we're talking to, about we, we have they're running the who's running the game? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. There's, there's no, there's that's no, there's no that's a good point. Okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see that. Chance is pretty young. Yeah, ch- yeah exactly. Chance is kind. You can okay. compare like yeah. So yeah. we put in so Cole, those, Cole, those three sales. How about the high sales? Kendrick, Chance, Kendrick, J Cole. But no, 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 both of them. How how we how we talking? Are we talking Kendrick? Did amazing sales of Good Kid, Mad City. He's outsold everything Cole has done, but Cole's recent two albums did very yeah, similar to his TFAB. Yeah, we well, are we included in Untitled Very Unmarked? similar. Are we, yeah. Um, T-Pab sold like 350k this week. I'm pretty sure um, Forrest was driving outsold. I don't think we can take it. into account Untitled Unmasked. Untitled like Unmasked is like a mixtape. Like the thing is, account. he promoted it as a B-side. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, it still sold over 100,000. That's ridiculous. Most people's... Future's peak sold 140,000. Kendrick's B side sold 100. Yeah, but Ke- yeah, yeah, but Future's been running shit, bro. What the fuck? It's so hard, man. It's so like, hard. So who like put Kendrick's B side? So Future's so more than up, Future. Up, it's fine. Yeah, like 1.2 gigabytes. Yeah. Wait, so Future's never reached like 300k? I think he's hit 200 before. No, no, 140k peak with the Spark yeah. 2 or roughly. Oh, then. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but we're not talking about that though. We're talking about running the game. He's released okay, three mixtapes in a row that are widely because considered classics. Yeah, no, no. A, a Dirty Spark through 140k throw sweet clap. That's, that's pretty okay. considered a classic. I, I haven't. I, can, can I say something? Go it's, it's backing you up. It's because he has this work ethic where he just yeah. keeps releasing stuff. He will always be running the game. And like, I don't think we. As he said, like no one listens to Teal Up now. No one. Well, maybe people listen to Burz, but compare it to the stuff that Future's dropped Everybody's dropped listening to Future. Everyone's listening to Future, and he's still going to drop more. He said he's got two more. Uh, he drops those, but people still listen to those. And just to clarify, like, we're not including someone like Thug because he doesn't have the numbers, right? Thug, yeah. Thug, Thug, yeah, Thug, 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 Thug is in this conversation. Thug, 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 you can't like understate his info, like popularity, mainstream popularity yeah. here in Australia because he was like num- King Kunta was number two on Triple J. Yeah. That's last, crazy. Last year, that's crazy. Did for, did anything J Cole mm. ever done? Chart? Does that that's mean we need nuts. A, Yeah, but we're talking that about America nuts. though. We're talking about we're talking about hip hop. Does that mean we need to move Kendrick up? No, no. Kendrick well, above Cole, possibly. No, Kendrick. Uh, Kendrick above Kanye. No, 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 no. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Can't leave Kanye. Leave Kanye. Yeah. Leave it So Kendrick for fourth. Cole, bro. Cole's bigger than Kendrick. Right now, Cole is bigger than Kendrick. It's just back to the which which factors do you take more. But right now, like, Cole is. I, I'm asking myself. If Cole released head, an, an album where he basically marketed as B sides, yes. I don't think he'd get eighty. Oh no, he would because nah, his fan base is man. different. He's like they're crazy. His fan base is. Bro, like like Cole has had more recent hits. Has had. Better sales. Is Cole about a number one? Cole. Like a hit song. Not the number one, other is Kendrick. Yeah. He's Kendrick's had a bit- about a number one song. Yeah, Kendrick so big, the biggest songs like Swimming Pool's like number seventeen. Cole's had bigger hits than Kendrick. Cole's had more hits than Kendrick. And the thing is, the thing it's like a thing with the Cole hit is it still feels genuine. Like it feels you like Cole feels feel genuine. genuine. A co- yeah. He doesn't have to sell out to make hits. You reckon Cole hasn't sold out? 
No, I don't reckon Cole's sold out. I'm not a big fo- Cole fan or anything, no, but I don't reckon he's sold out. I think he's actually yeah. just being... Sold. I think, he's, I think Cole's yeah, just being himself. Just mediocre. The, the music is very generic, but Cole is just being himself. Okay, that's fair. He, he's not so we're putting Cole number four? I reckon Cole number four. The issue is Chance or Kendrick. What? Screw it's Chance, it's Kendrick. Look at Easily Kendrick, yeah. Well, we need to go through the pyramid. Like the three. Popularity, Wait. Chance? Wait. Chance thing is... Like, we were comparing Kendrick to Cole, and it was pretty tough. And now we're bringing in Chance. Yeah, but Chance is Chance is fucking huge, bro. Chance could has you, that. Could you compare Chance to J Cole? No. But we were comparing Kendrick to J Cole. What does that say about Kendrick? So we can, you know we can I mean? compare Chance to J Cole as well. You'd have you, but you can't. Like yeah, but we, we, yeah, yeah, I know we like can't. Up here. We can't, but we have to. But when we do compare, J Cole's by far. J. Cole's number four, yeah, we've established J. Cole number yeah. four, but who's five? Kendrick. Do you say Kendrick? Kendrick. It's just Right that. now, I reckon Chance is doing more uh, doing more than Kendrick. I reckon it's just hard again because colouring books like the streaming, like we don't know. Yeah, but c- yeah, but no, colouring book was like everywhere, bro. Like, yeah, like Yeah, but it doesn't matter what numbers did it do, like. Yeah, but we can't say but we can we can't say unfortunately. Exactly. But like we can base off hits and how big chance is. Like chance is everywhere. All yeah, night was massive. Like the fucking the, the late late late. But night so shows, as you said, like Kingdom Hearts did fall. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but we're talking about two years ago. We're talking about right now. Yeah, we're talking about like the re- recent past. <sighs> Bro, Kendrick. Oh. Yeah, Kendrick hasn't done much. Like Kendrick has not done much recently. It's, it's just been on a uh, couple of. I feel like, like Kendrick has really media, Kendrick Kendrick, features, Kendrick did yeah. so much to put himself in those conversations, but he's done very little to keep himself there. Lately. Lately. Yeah. Yeah, because he hasn't dropped anything. He hasn't dropped years. anything. He dropped a B-side. That, that doesn't that, count. Yeah. Maroon 5 feature. Yeah, Maroon 5 feature. Oh. And Taylor Swift <laughs> feature. Like, oh, I, I really... What's worse is that uh, Uzi... Travis Uzi Quake. Travis oh, Quake. Oh, terrible. That's the worst side of all time, I reckon. I, I reckon it's Chance number 5. Them, and then Kendrick... Because, like, how can you include someone who hasn't released an album probably for two years now? It's so difficult because, like, Kendrick is, like... Kendrick. But like the thing is, if Kendrick drops an album tomorrow, he's in the top five. Yeah. And you got how? Left. Yeah. And how much weight do you give to that? If Kendrick drops an album to literally tomorrow, what about he Ken- will be Chance? A hundred percent. If Chance if Chance drops an album tomorrow, as well. If we'll they both drop an album, Kendrick. You think Kendrick? Yeah. Easy. Easy. What? Can't tell so me. I, I don't know. Like, if you think Kendrick and Chance tomorrow dropped tomorrow, tomorrow uh, that Kendrick would do worse than Chance. I think it do be- slightly comparable numbers. I, I think you underestimate the big chances. I agree with him. Maybe. We have like three minutes. Sure. Okay, so we're we going with Chance, Kendrick. Do the split. Ooh. No, we got Tom as well. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Kendrick. He's like. To be Butterfly, like, was 2015, but it's still, like, in my opinion, if you such, a, chance, then such a better uh, project yeah. than Colouring Book was. Who do you reckon? I think, influence-wise, who do you, who do you reckon? Nobody. Them? But, both of them okay, have, so Yeah, I agree, I agree that popularity, I think, if they both, like, dropped, like, tomorrow, then we go to critical it would be time comparable. Time. Chance has a lot of critical advice. Compare it to Kendrick. Nah, Kendrick has more. He, he picked yeah. up a lot of Grammys. There we go. I reckon that's a good point. Dude, fucking t have got like 98 yeah, on Metacritic. That's a good point. That's a good point. They both, they both so have a lot of Grammys. Yeah. I suppose they're legitimately 12. But t have got fucking 9. Melons. <laughs> okay. So I'm going Kendrick still. I still think Kendrick. Yeah, I think I'm as... If you go Kendrick, I won't care. I'm just saying... Yeah, I think I'll switch to Kendrick. Yeah, Alright. Kendrick. So Kendrick. So we have... So we have um, Drake. Future. Kanye. Kanye. Go. Cole. Cole. Kendrick. And then that's actually a pretty good list. Oh no, that's a good list. Special mention to Travis, Travis and Chance. 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 Yeah. Alright guys, that wraps that up I reckon. So we've got Dra- um, Drake, Future, Kanye, Cole. Cole, Kendrick. I reckon the most disappointing about this list is two years ago probably would have been very similar. That's the thing that kind of like... Similar? Yeah, I reckon. Two years ago? Yeah. Drake would be for one, yeah. I reckon it'd be Kanye kind of similar. Kanye made it on. But like, it hasn't Kanye really got any new artists in there, but like... If Kanye would probably be two and then future, yeah. yeah. 
I agree. I don't know. It's yeah. just one of those turns, I guess. Yeah. But um, Cole really pop, like, yeah, think Forrest was driving. Chance, Chance was driving. Yeah. Chance wouldn't be in it. No, no, no But Chance wasn't in this as well. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't. Yeah, no, that's oh, it would be the same yeah. list then. It would have been yeah. very similar, but yeah. that's how it Does is. Does that mean that we gave too much weight to the stuff? Back then, no. Nah. But to be honest, two years ago wasn't that long, long ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's twelve. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, follow me on social medias. Rahul, Kanji, Yadig, Thomas. Sign out. Thank you for watching. Yadig. <laughs>